Hey and welcome to my channel. My name is Heather and this is the Fluffy Oracle. Today's pick a card is going to be all about what wishes are coming true for you soon and also some extra positive messages for you to help bring them in and have some more extra positive boost to your manifestation. And at the end, we will be doing some Rebel Deck pulls as well. So for those who do not like profanity or cursing, please know that you can skip that part and know that I love you. Um, for your piles to pick from, for the first one, we have Oscar, we have Barney, and we have Baby Jasper for number three. Timestamps will be down below as well as in the first comment from my mobile users. And without further ado, let's get started. If you need any extra time, please feel free to pause the video now and take that extra time as much as you need. Alrighty, so for my loves who chose Oscar, let's see what wishes are coming true and what positive messages we can give you to help bring those manifestations in for you. We have the Great Wheel, which this is the Styr uh, yeah, Syrian. Syrian Star Seed to roll. So this is the wheel card of that deck. And then we have the Six of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. Because, or Nine of Crystals in this deck. Crystals in this deck are also the Pentacles. So with this, I feel like there may be a little bit of nostalgia for the past and for wishing for someone to come back. And with the wheel and the Nine of Crystals, I feel like you already have everything that you need in order to bring this about, if that's what you truly want. And I feel like the wheel is working in your favor, but know that this, this too shall pass, as well as what I get with this. But I feel like there's a lot of positive energy around with bringing something from the past back. So if that is what you wish, then all you need to do is reach out for them. Alrighty. So let's see what else we get. We have clean and gratitude. So with this, I feel like cleaning out your space might be needed quite a bit in order to work on this. And also cleaning away any mental clutter is what I get as well. And being grateful for the things that you have now since you already have everything that you need now as it is to be happy instead of worrying about the past. But like I said, if you want to bring the past back or you want to reach out to someone from the past, by all means, make that reconnection if that is what you're wishing to do because that's what I feel is coming in for you. So if these messages resonate with you, that's great. Just take whatever does, and whatever doesn't, just leave it there. So we have you are healing for some extra positive messages. And then I have even more down below. So this card reads, Healing happens in, season, in seasons. It can't be rushed or forced to fit a schedule. So often we curse the seeds that haven't taken root, failing to realize it's not their time. They need more water, sunlight, and care. Bullying ourselves blocks regeneration. Also, sometimes the healing we're focused on isn't the healing that's taking place. There's a, <clears throat> there's a much deeper healing going on. Be patient, dear one. You are healing. So take your time. And with this cleaning and clearing out of things from the past and mental clearing, it's also helping you to heal at this time. So that is definitely much needed. So we have play. Self-care includes having fun. Are you playing enough, darling? Do you have enough free time or are you, <clears throat> or are you booked to the minute? Life goes by so darn fast. Make sure to have a blast along the way. Play connects us to our childlike curiosity and zest. When life feels that <clears throat> when life feels too serious, toss aside your to-do list and make room for the stuff that turns you on. <laughs> Go to the movies, have an adult slumber party, swing at the playground. You're never too old to wee. <laughs> let the <clears throat> let the fun shine and live a little or a lot. So definitely some self-care and so much needed releasing and feeling a little bit freer with yourself and taking time to take in everything that you are grateful for and relishing all of that and having some much needed fun and some playtime is definitely called for to help you bring this in to have you have to help you have a lighter attitude towards things so let's see what else we get 
from the I Can Do It cards from Louise Hay, we have my heart. Is <clears throat> my heart is the center of my power. I flow. I follow. Yeah, flow. <laughs> Go with the flow is pretty much what's being called for. I follow my heart. I create easily and uh, easily and effortlessly when I let my thoughts come from the loving space of my own heart. So definitely some heart-based energy and going with the flow is much needed with this. And you can use these as also little mini affirmations if you choose to. So we have the law of attraction brings only good into my into my life. So having an attitude of gratitude goes right with this gratitude um gratitude card. Money is a state of mind that supports me. I allow prosperity to enter my life on a higher level than ever before. So remember that you can use these as affirmations as well. So I'll leave this here in case you want to pause it, take a picture of it, screenshot it. That way you can write it down later and remember it. And like attracts like always with this law of attraction card. So we have love is powerful. Your love and my love. Love brings us peace on earth. And then it says love is all there is. So lots and lots of love coming in and lots and lots of love is much needed at this time to be able to go with the flow and help bring about what it is that you are wishing for to bring in from the past. Alrighty. And I also feel that some of you are longing for something from the past. So if that's what you're wishing to do and reconnect, there's going to be a lot of work to do with love and self-care and clearing. I can find peace in every breath. So taking some time to go within and making sure that this is what you really want is what's called for and taking some time for that self-care with meditation. I trust that my <clears throat> that my gut reaction is the truth underneath the, su the surface of my fears. So listen to your intuition. It's not steering you wrong. It's actually steering you in the right direction. You just got to take a minute to go within and actually listen in really carefully and really closely so that you can hear it and know what it's actually saying instead of jumping the gun and having an impulse with something. I make decisions from a place of in um, of intuition. <laughs> Some of the cursive is a little hard to read on this. Intuition and power. So lots and lots of listening to your intuition with this. Alrighty. And taking the time to make these decisions as well as what I... Basically, this is a confirmation card of what I was just saying before this one. <laughs> That's been happening a lot for me lately. Like, I'm ahead of my cards somehow. And I'm like, I haven't even seen these cards yet. Because while I'm flipping them over, these are the first time that I'm seeing them right along with you guys. So, let's start with... Well, yeah, I just lost track. But anyway, <laughs> it says I flow with life. I'm just going to go with it. <laughs> just like the card says, going with the flow, basically. Divine order and ever is ever present in my life. And there is plenty of time for all that I choose to do. So slow down, take a moment, take all of that in and all of the sights and know that the journey is what's the most important for you with taking everything in and learning the lessons that you need to learn. At this time. I express my true being. My wisdom and understanding of spirit increases. As I express more fully each day. The inner beauty and strength of my true being. So. With this. It's more about self appreciation. And knowing that you are smart enough. And understanding and caring enough. To make these wise decisions. And that you deserve nothing but the best. As well as what I get from this. And that you have lots of inner strength. And lots and lots of inner beauty. As well that you need to be sharing outward. With the world instead of keeping it all inside. I give over my problems. And sleep peacefully. I release my fears and problems. I feel only peace in my mind and body as I drift off to sleep. So if you're having trouble sleeping lately, the meditation and going within will help you to relax your mind and body as well. And that'll help you have a more peaceful sleep as well at night. So maybe meditating 15 minutes before you drift off to sleep might help you fall asleep a little bit faster. But definitely getting some much needed rest this week is what's called for at this time. These are your messages. 
Stay tuned for the Rebel Deck if you would like. And thanks for checking me out. Alrighty, so for my loves who chose Barney, let's see what Barney has to bring us for your wishes that are coming true in the next, hopefully, a few days to a week or so. Or whenever it is you're watching this, these readings are always timeless. And we'll get some extra guidance to help you bring that manifestation about for you. So these are the uh, Syrian Star Seeds Hero. And these cards are actually different. These are the Teenage Oracle. Completely two different authors in two different decks, but they have the same symbol on the back. In case you notice that. But they're both really awesome decks. I literally just got this deck yesterday, and I've had this one for years, and I absolutely love it. So, jumping in, we have a <clears throat> Adept of Chalices. So this is kind of like the Ace of Cups, is what I'm getting with this. And I really feel like a lot of overflowing and a lot of waves of emotion are coming in. And I feel like you're going to be having some emotional fulfillment with these wishes that you're thinking about that are coming in and that you have been hoping for, especially with new beginnings because we have Zero, which is Starcy, which is the fool in this deck. So definitely some new beginnings in love. And we have the Five of Flames, which is the Five of Wands. So I feel like putting some old arguments to rest is what you've been hoping to do and wishing for, especially with having a new beginning in love. So I feel like once you're able to express your emotions, it'll dampen out these flames and it'll put all those old arguments to rest. And it'll help you have a new beginning with your partner, is what I'm hearing from this. If that's what you've been wishing for, that's what's coming in. So let's see what else is going with this. We have vampire and attitude. So with this, I feel like getting rid of any toxic behaviors as well as for both you and your partner if you are in a current relationship. And also releasing any people who are just absolutely draining your energy is much needed to have this wish come in and to help it. And also have self-confidence in yourself. It's not so much about like the whole word attitude. It's more about being confident in yourself, standing in your own power, and releasing what you no longer need, which is the energy vampire type of card. So releasing old things and old like paradigms is what's what is most needed if I can speak trying to get it all out at once it's a little hard <laughs> but definitely having more self-confidence and being able to express yourself and releasing what no longer serves you is what's most needed to help have these wishes come in and to help put whatever issues you wanted to from the past to rest to help you have a new beginning in love so let's see what else we can do to help you further bring in this manifestation that you so want we have find your tribe this card's been coming up in a lot of different readings especially that i've been watching lately so i'm like it came up yesterday when i was shuffling randomly to see what um cards i was just playing around with because this is a brand new deck called crazy sexy love notes so let's see what the find your tribe card is we have your spiritual <clears throat> your spiritual tribe is out there. And once you find your tribe, members rejoice together, motivate each other, support each other, and stick together. Share your accomplishments, hopes, desires, and heartbreak. Praise each other and offer the kindest, <clears throat> kindest tough love when needed. There's strength in numbers. <clears throat> There's strength in numbers. You're never alone. So finding like-minded individuals or getting with your friends and having a nice good talk and ha listening to their advice might be a little bit more of help and what's actually needed right now at this time. So also like, even if they're not like your immediate friends, like any like-minded individuals, kind of like an, an outside point of view, an extra set of eyes, that type of deal to help you see things that you might not already see and to see other points of view so that you can understand things a little bit more. We have Gossip Dims Your Glow. Speaking poorly about others tarnishes <clears throat> your energy and your reputation. So avoid bonding over, com over complaints and feeling superior. Human beings weren't designed to be perfect. And this includes you. Instead, raise your vibration and engage by engaging in positive communication. Celebrate what does... 
<clears throat> what does work and who is awesome. The more you do this, the more radiant you will become. So releasing any old habits of talking and gossiping and putting others down is what's most needed to be released and keeping an attitude of gratitude and a positive momentum and building people up instead of tearing them down is what's called for at this time. And also not listening to any jealous um, gossip rumors or anything like that is what's most needed. So let's see what other um, manifestation advice we can get for you to help you with this. We have, <clears throat> I open new doors to life. I trust that <clears throat> I trust that my inner guide is leading me and guiding me in ways that are <clears throat> are best for me. My spiritual growth in is continuously expanding. I really feel like someone is having a hard time with speaking because I'm having so much trouble speaking and reading these cards today. So trust your intuition and listen to it because it's leading you in the right direction. And if you feel guided to help someone, help them. It'll help you feel better. It'll help raise your vibration both mentally and physically, and it'll give you a little boost of energy as well because it'll make you feel good inside. I am willing to see only my magnificence. So don't put yourself down so much. Boost yourself up. Have some more positivity and faith in yourself than what you've had before. And stop being so harsh on yourself and judging yourself so, you know, so rough is what I'm getting with this. I think and say only what I want to create in my life. I am more than adequate for all I need to do. Know that you are enough and that you are everything that you actually really need in order to get things done and to move ahead and to build yourself up instead of tearing yourself down is what's called for with this card. Alrighty. I, <clears throat> I am welcomed with joy whenever, or excuse me, wherever I am. <clears throat> People love working and being with me as I express my thoughts, feelings, and, I and ideas. They are welcomed and easily comprehended by others. So know that you are accepted and loved and also don't worry about, you know, impressing others. Just be you. And if they don't like you, screw them. You don't need them. They aren't meant for you. You'll find your tribe. You'll find someone else that's better that actually accepts you for you and loves you for you because you are unique. You are wonderful and you are amazing. Know that and relish that. And the more you feel that way about yourself, the more like-minded individuals will help you find your tribe. So let's see what the Miracles Now cards bring us. When I shine bright, I give others permission to shine with me. So be yourself, be more open, share your individuality, shine your light, be you, and others will come to you. When I move my body, I bust through all that blocks me from my true health and vitality. A lot of self-care. Take care of yourself. Build yourself up. Don't tear yourself down so much. If your hair is giving you a bad day, ponytail that bitch and keep it moving. Because <laughs> that's exactly what I do when my hair is giving me trouble. If it ain't working, in a ponytail it goes and I'm calling it a day. And then I feel better. <laughs> Instead of so frustrated. But anyway. The qualities I dislike in others are disowned are disowned parts of my shadow. So what you see in others that you don't like is actually a mirror of what you don't like about yourself. And it's a lesson for you to pay attention to is what this is saying. Alrighty. So think about your thoughts. If you think something ab about someone like, oh, I don't like what they're wearing and da, 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 da. Catch yourself in that thought. Analyze it. Think about what it is that you might see in yourself that you don't like in yourself and learn from that lesson and then flip it around into positivity. Make sense? I have a wonderful relationship with my friends, family members, and coworkers. I am appreciated. I am safe when I express my feelings. I can be serene in any situation. So having self-confidence and peace of mind is what's most needed for. And also know that you are a wonderful person. And because like attract like like attracts like, it helps you to find your tribe. 
My workspace is a pleasure to be in. There is mutual respect among my coworkers. My job allows me to express my talents and abilities, and I am grateful for this employment. So what I'm hearing and getting with this, a lot of this is work-based, and a lot of there, there's a lot of gossip at work that seems to be going around for you, and I really feel like you need to take and step out of that and step away from these people because these people are not your tribe. They are not your best friends because if they're talking about somebody else, guess what? They're talking about you too. Remember that. Keep that in mind because it's true. I'm telling you, it's really true. I've come around the corner and heard people talking about me and I thought that they really liked me because I stayed to myself at my job. And guess what? They really don't. It hurts. Believe me, I get it. It hurts. But you know what? It is what it is. And those are the people that are around you. You have to deal with them and you have to separate yourself from from them and step back from them and analyze are, are these the real people that I really want to be around with they're not my true friends clearly they're not and they're not your tribe so step back stay to yourself and make friends elsewhere like go check out the people who are quiet and shy that you really haven't gotten to know know too much around the office or the job or whatever what have you see what they're about make new friends you you might actually find some um, more things in common with them than you do with the others that seem to be talking all that mess. My partner is the love of my life. We adore each other. I am in, <clears throat> I am in a joyous, intimate relationship with the person I, who truly loves me. So whether this um, person is in a relationship with you now or this is the person you're wishing to be, Know that it's coming in for you and that you can make this happen as long as you keep an attitude of positivity and express yourself fully and wholly and honestly and be transparent with them. Alrighty. These are your messages. Stick around for the Rebel Deck and I will see you later. Thanks so much for checking me out. For those who don't check out the Rebel Deck. Alrighty, so for my loves who chose baby Jasper, let's jump in and see what she has to bring us for what wishes are coming true for you and some extra um, positive guidance to help you manifest that. So we have Master of Orbs. So this is the King of Swords. So with this, I feel like having clear and concise decisions need to be made at this time to help you bring these wishes about, but also not being so brash and so like very uh, sharp-tongued is what I'm getting, but also sticking up for yourself at the same time and having self-confidence and knowing what you want and what you don't want is which what is most needed and then we have the eight of swords so with this i feel like you're wishing to get out of a trapped relationship because i really feel drawn to say that because i'm attracted to the water and the fact that she is trapped in these vines here she can get out of them she just has to undo her blindfold all she has to do is look down and reach up and pull it off and know that she can see to free herself from this and know that she has the strength to do it and then we have the page of cups sage of chalices so with this wishing to release yourself from this old relationship that's got you feeling so trapped in your emotions and having new love come in is what's coming in for you as well as a wish that's being completed but you have to release yourself in order for this to come in, you have to cut yourself free. You have to have the self um, confidence and the embodiment of the um, King of Swords in order to bring this Page of Cups about with new love coming in. Alrighty. And also with messages of love as well coming in. You have to initiate it yourself. If you want it, you got to go get it. That's the only way you're going to complete this wish, is what I'm feeling with these cards. So let's see what else. We have accuse and apology. So with these cards, I feel like if you've also been struggling in your relationship and blaming each other for um, different things and saying, oh, well, I feel so trapped with you or da, da 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 you have to know that when you accuse someone, three fingers point right back at you. So you are just as much to blame, the same as them if they're pointing their finger at you, is they are just as much to blame because... When you point your finger, look at that. Three fingers pointing right back at you. You see that? 
So you have to both either apologize to yourselves as well as the other person and share those messages of love in order to fix this relationship and in order to free yourselves from any emotional like entrapment and to have a better relationship between you two with better communication and love. So if this is what you're wishing for. This is what's coming in and this is what's most needed. So let's see what we can get for some positivity messages to help you along the way with this. We have noticed the blessings. See the best in each other. That's the only way this is going to work out. You have to see the positivity in everything. And you have to keep a positive mindset. Because if you don't, it's just going to fall apart. And then you're just going to feel trapped and stuck there where you don't want to be. And it's just going to be a sucky relationship. I'm sorry. It is what it is. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm just telling you how it is and how to fix it. So this card reads, gratitude puts it, <clears throat> puts us in a positive, or yeah, positive, <laughs> in a position of having instead of wanting, thanking rather than complaining. When we focus on what we already have and, and take stock of our blessings, we get more blessings. What are we, or what are you grateful for? Or what are we grateful for as well? Share it with yourself and others. So attitude of gratitude, take into consideration what you already have and be grateful for what you do have and build upon it so that you can have more blessings upon blessings upon blessings. Make sense? We have, you did it. Don't make mountains out of molehills as well. Take pride in what you've done and your accomplishments and take pride in what you have and have that attitude of gratitude. Hooray, success is here or just around the corner. You've worked hard and your efforts are paying off. Congratulate yourself and truly savor your fantastic victory. Just remember that success comes in cycles. So we can't, <clears throat> we can't be at the top of our game 24-7. We succeed. Celebrate, rest, renew, and succeed again. Know where you are in this journey. You did it before, and you'll do it again and again. Make sense? That's kind of self-explanatory. So take pride in yourself. And even if it's small victories, attitude of gratitude, and you'll keep building. So let's see what else we have. We have, I am free to say no if something is not um, best for me. Having that confidence to say no when it's most needed and knowing what you do and you, what you don't want and having those clear and concise boundaries where I don't like this. You've crossed this line with me. Here's how I feel. You have to speak up. I use the power of my mind and free will to do what I know is right. I trust myself. So have that confidence in yourself. Know what you do and what you don't want. Be able to express it and be able to say no when it is most needed. I am the center of peace. In peace, I live and move and experience life because I keep myself centered in inner peace. I have peace in my outer world. So when you can have that peaceful state of mind and have that self-confidence, that reassurance, it'll help create that peaceful space around you. And your world will mirror what you actually really want inside. And it will become the outside. Make sense? I am loving. I am a loving, joyful person. I release all thoughts and vibrations of confusion, chaos, disharmony, disrespect, or distrust. They are eliminated from my consciousness completely. So... If you have any negative thoughts that are floating around or coming in all of a sudden, pay attention, stop them, reverse them, remember what your goal is and put an attitude of positivity on it and stop the negative self-talk is what's called for with this card already. And releasing all of these things is what's most needed for. And know that you are a very loving and joyful person as well and have pride in that. So let's see what the Miracles Now cards give us. When I've overshared, sim I simply say, wait, why am I talking? So no one, does, no one to stop talking, no one to say no, no one to back off, and no one to go forward. Alrighty. 
Think about everything that's going on and also think before you speak if you're getting upset about something. Take into account what you're going to say and then say it. If it's not worth saying, don't say it at all. Just walk away and let it out. To relinquish control, I simply let loose and allow myself to be more childlike. So have a simpler state of mind and it'll bring more peace about into your situation in your life instead of stress and you know, depression. I speak with confidence because the world needs to, needs my light. So when you speak, try and speak with some positivity as well. And also speak to yourself a little bit more gently and try and be a little bit more positive about yourself instead of tearing yourself down so much. Alrighty. I deserve the best and I accept the best now. At this very moment, enormous wealth and power are available to me. I choose to feel worthy and deserving. So these are affirmations that you can keep in mind to help you to have this positive mindset and to stop and flip your negative mindset back into a positive mindset. So if you need to, take the time to um, pause the video and either write it down or screenshot this. There's the other side of the card. Alrighty. Limitations are merely opportunities to grow. I use them as stepping stones to success. When I encounter problems on the job, I am willing to ask for help. So with limitations, they need to be released and also learned as like lessons, like take into account what's going on. Whenever you feel like you have a limitation or you feel like kind of like stumped or stopped in your tracks at work or in your daily life, take a minute to analyze it, think about it, and then a solution should pop up already because you've learned that lesson and it's helped you to grow from it already. And if you need help, ask for help from others who are around you, whether they're your friends, strangers, or family. If someone's around you in the vicinity and they can help you pick up a heavy box, ask them to help you. Save your back. <laughs> you know? That type of example. It doesn't have to always be for monetary. It could just be for anything. Just don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it. And to be able to swallow your part as well. And to admit that you actually need help once in a while. My happy thoughts help create my healthy body. Filling my mind with pleasant thoughts is the quickest road to health. Catching yourself in those negative thoughts and turning around, turning them around into positive ones will help you manifest easier and quicker with whatever it is that you want for, you know, at that time that you're wishing for and thinking about. And keeping that eye on the prize, basically. Alrighty. So these are your messages. I do hope that they helped and take what resonates and leave the rest if it does not. And please do not try and force it into your life. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in just a moment for the Rebel Deck Pull. Alrighty, so let's get into this Rebel Deck and see what cheeky messages we can have to help kick our butts and give us some extra positive motivation and some cheeky guidance for this. And also help tell it like it is. Rebend my cards the other way. What do they most need to know to help them have some positivity? Tell it like it is. Woo! Guidance. Alrighty, so we have fuck fear, it's dark and you can't see a fucking thing, have you eaten, you're acting like a big ass baby, <laughs> so let's see what fuck fear has for us, it will lie to your face, so take things for as they are and live a mind, have a mindset without fearing it and to see things in a more positive way. 
because fear is just holding you back. It's a restriction. So if you have a little bit more open-mindedness to things, you won't fear it so much. Even if it's unknown, it's a still it's still a lesson to be learned. That's all it is. It's dark and you can't see a fucking thing. Get your head out of your ass pronto. So basically, don't be so full of yourself and release any um, judgments not only towards yourself but towards other people as well so that you can have a freer mindset and more of an open heart. And then we have, have you eaten? You're acting like a big ass baby. You need food in your belly. Eat a fucking taco. Tacos sound really good right about now for lunch. <laughs> but anyways, getting some better um, nutrition and some healthier mindsets is what's mo most need for with this. And also if you eat, it'll help have you have um, a clearer mindset because you'll have the energy to continue on instead of feeling so drained. These are your messages. I do hope that you love these and that you enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. And for those who are new here, consider subscribing and joining our big happy family. Thanks and have a blessed one.